Okay, thanks. Kicking it this morning with Ken. This is going to be fun. I, I'm honestly a little yes. nervous for him because this, it's very cool what these people do, but it just the, anyway, we'll get right to it. We are kicking it with Ken. He's at a brand new museum exhibition Look, I love this. in Fort Mitchell. This one might be considered creepy for some folks. Ken Baker at the Vent Haven Museum with a friend. Who do we have with us? Hello, my name is Mike Tech. Hello, hello. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's too much fun here. Uh, so this is super cool. Uh, I have to get right to it. I want to bring you in. Uh, Austin, show them who it is. Lamb Chop in the house. This is the Lamb Chop. Uh, this is Miss Sweezy here. Uh, and talking to her, I figured she taught at my high school, Lloyd High School. So shout out to the uh, Jugs. But tell me what you have going on. There's so much to talk about. Very exciting stuff. Yes, yes. Thanks, Ken, for having me on this morning. And welcome to Vent Haven, the only museum in the world for ventriloquism. Yeah, we're looking at Lamb Chop and our Sherry Lewis exhibit this year. We're so excited to have Lamb Chop and Charlie Horse and Hush Puppy here for people to come see. Every tour at Vent Haven is um catered to a specific demographic. So for a lot of your viewers, they're really going to know who Lamb Chop was and be uh, kind of tri tripping down memory lane right now. I mean, I am because you and you really have done a good job walking around here. Uh, folks, what's so impressive about this is this has a national, a, even a global draw. It's the only place where you'll find ventriloquism, um, if I'm saying it right. Uh, the most impressive Tell me about the Jeff Dunham exhibit here. Sure, Jeff Dunham, of course, is an iconic ventriloquist. He's certainly the the most well-known ventriloquist today. He's been doing ventriloquism since he was 10 years old, and he's been affiliated with the museum since he was 13. So we have a very substantial exhibit for him. He's our, here's our um, most significant donor, and most, excuse me, most major donor, and we just really love having him. And uh, of course, people, when they come for visits, they wanna, do you have anything on Jeff? And they're typically surprised at the amount of material that we do have on Jeff. And she said throughout the years, like, like again, Jeff's been coming here since 15. Yep. He supports you guys, he runs into town, Town, does little shows <laughs> um, but tell me the heartbeat because we have about a minute behind the museum let's talk about first of all for the people at home who are like this is kind of creepy yeah. once you get in it, and you get into the history it's not well I appreciate that you're right because for some people if they don't have any connection to the art form of ventriloquism they can be a little bit put off by the faces the number of faces here and the whole uncanny valley kind of kicks in but the truth is that ventriloquism has been around forever and that there's 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 something for everyone here, no matter what their age is, that kind of connects them back to the art form and lifts that that kind of that vibe that they're anticipating they might feel. Okay, and what, once again, tell people where we are, how do they get in touch with you, all the good stuff. Sure, uh, Vent Haven is located in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky, and our website is venthaven.org. If you Google Ventriloquist Museum, we should come right up since we're, <laughs> since we're the only ones. But yeah, we, I'm open for uh, tours most days. Every tour is by appointment, but it's very easy to get in and so yeah I'd love to have people come out and check us out uh, so they actually have a tour guys at one o'clock today right. and then um, you can jump in but Frank Lauren one thing that I found so interesting is I did come in kind of with the idea of like well this is gonna be kind of weird like what do I think <laughs> but I after learning it's all cool. this stuff yeah. um, I'm just kind of like taken away by it yeah I know but I like your little friend there um, what's his name Mike check Mike check he named him. Mike Check. Mike Check. Mike Check. Mike Check. <laughs> Mike Check. I got a question for you, Mike Check. How, how's Kenny been today? Is Kenny, Kenny doing well? He's the best. He needs a raise. Oh, there we go. I agree. That was funny. Yeah, that, was nice. Mike. that was nice. They're so talented. They are good. <laughs> Trust me, Kenny. I've been asking for years. Uh, nice and he's got him right every now. time. Just kidding. <laughs> Just joking.